Hi, I'm Chris Hawkins, and today we're going to talk about normalizing origins in Trimble RealWorks. So here we've opened our uh, point cloud of our uh, Building Point Florida headquarters. And what we'd like to do is actually uh, start establishing a UCS, a user coordinate system. Um, so as we select the UCS tool, we're going to get a message basically stating that the origin vector is too far from the scene, which essentially means, this is very common in, uh, in mobile mapping uh, point clouds, is that the origin can, uh, as in this case, uh, derive very far from the actual point cloud data. And so in this case, we're going to actually walk through uh, RealWorks uh, kind of magic as to how, how they address this, and then we're going to do a little bit of a manual uh, backup just to see uh, what this magic entails. So we'll go ahead and say yes to this and we'll now see that there's a origin that's been placed um, basically in the central, uh, kind of in the centroid of the overall space of this point cloud. And uh, if we go ahead and click create in our UCS uh, tool, we'll get a new object down here in RealWorks. If we uh, right click and take a look at the properties, um, we'll see that the center of this origin is, what, like uh, one point something million feet uh, on the X and uh, 10 point something million feet on the Y. And uh, that can basically lead to uh, calculation issues um, uh, and, and other warnings inside of RealWorks just as we already received. Um, so what we're going to do is use the shift project command to uh, address this issue. What we're going we're gonna to jump out of our UCS tool, because um, essentially we really just utilize that to understand how far the current origin was from the uh, center of the project cloud. We're going to select our project in our workspace, uh, go under uh, our edit menu, and select shift project. This essentially just brings up the ability to move our current origin uh, wherever we really want it to reside. Uh, it says 000, zero, zero um, just simply as a default value. But again, if we take a look at our object, let me cancel this for a second and let me activate our UCS properties here so I can see our coordinates there. Now I'll come back up to shift project. And essentially what we're going to do is move our X, Y, and Z in the opposite direction of what our uh, X, Y, and Z value is for this object number six. So I can come up here and double click on my Rx value and punch in uh, 11696690.05 and that's actually going to be in the negative. Um, there's some reason I can't actually add the negative initially so I have to punch in the number first so that's just a little process workflow. Uh, we're going into our Y 10201429.8 and we'll add the negative value there. And last but not least, we'll jump into the Y, or the Z, the Z rather, um, and we've got 70.98, and we'll add a negative to that as well. So we'll click Apply, and it says, hey, we're gonna uh, shift the entire project, it will modify all, modify all the coordinates. Well, we're really just getting started, so there's not a whole lot of other elements or geometries we've defined in here to uh, worry about it impacting. So we're just gonna say yes. And so now we've shifted this to 000. zero. Um, but if we actually take a look at uh, our resulting XYZ of what should be our new 000, you can see that we're still off. And this is actually part of uh, you know, what is impacting uh, origin values and calculations, uh, not just in RealWorks, but in all kinds of modeling software, when you are creating geometry and data far, far away from what the uh, software considers the origin point. So we're actually going to do this one more time, and, uh, and we'll note that the resultant will now be an equal or a true 0, 0, 0. So now we're going in the positive direction, a positive 2.34 on the X, a positive 2.4 on the Y, and Z is already uh, good because we were only like 60-something feet away from the Z in the first place. So I'll click Apply again. We're going to shift it again. We'll now see our center is truly at zero, zero, zero. And, uh, and so now we can uh, basically be uh, comfortable in uh, moving forward with any kind of uh, 
geometry, dimensioning, anything that we need to do with this model, uh, with this point cloud uh, moving forward. So if you'd like to learn more, check out our YouTube channel, or you can contact your local Building Point rep. Thanks for watching.